Hey, hi, welcome back to digit.in. Now, in the past, we've taken a look at the IdeaPad S145 and S340 from Lenovo. This time, however, let's take a look at the more high-end S540. Now, this IdeaPad here is the top of the line model with dual drive storage. Let's see how it did in our review. Let's start with performance. Everyday performance of our review unit was good, but not great. And let me explain why. With Windows sitting on that tiny but speedy solid state drive, I was able to cold boot to the desktop in under 23 seconds, launching common applications such as Chrome, File Explorer, Word, and OneNote for the first time after booting up took no more than two or three seconds. But switching between open applications and reading files stored on that one terabyte hard drive took some time. That one or two extra seconds the laptop took to switch between windows became a little annoying after a while while multitasking. Saving for that minor but noticeable lag caused by the bundled hard drive, the performance on the IdeaPad S540 is acceptable for its price. A full solid state drive storage setup, however, is more preferable. Thanks to the dedicated NVIDIA GeForce MX250 graphics card on board, the review unit lent itself to graphics-based work more readily than other Intel UHD graphics-powered models. While it wasn't naturally adapted to running games, it wasn't terrible either. Doom ran on medium graphics settings at full HD resolution at an average frame rate of 30 frames per second. Metro Last Light, however, ran on the same settings at an average frame rate of 77 frames per second. Despite the 60 plus frame clock, there were several stutters while playing Metro Last Light, even on the lowest graphic settings. On the whole, the IdeaPad S540 isn't cut out for running games, but if your colleague at work says there's a new platformer that you've simply got to try, then the IdeaPad S540 shouldn't disappoint you. The same goes for basic image and video editing. Let's move on to the battery. On our standard battery benchmark test, the review unit managed three hours, 54 minutes. The slightly cheaper IdeaPad S340, on the other hand, managed four hours, 39 minutes. But to be fair, I should note that that was the 14-inch variant with integrated graphics. The ASUS VivoBook X403, by contrast, remains a topper in the department with its chart-beating score of 6 hours 16 minutes. On our everyday tests, where the screen is set to 70% brightness and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled, the review unit lost half its complete charge in about 3 hours. During the test, the laptop was tasked with heavy browsing on Chrome, with music playing in the background and 15 minutes of video playback on YouTube. In summary, expect up to 6 hours of continuous unplugged use on the IdeaPad S540. The IdeaPad S540 is available in both 14-inch and 15.6-inch versions. Our review unit came with the larger 15.6-inch Full HD IPS LCD panel, which was both bright and colorful for everyday tasks such as browsing and video playback. Colors on the panel appeared natural without any noticeable signs of saturation or light bleed. The panel's max brightness of 300 nits was sufficient for a bedroom with bright indirect sunlight. I often found myself pushing the brightness level below 70% while working indoors. In addition, the panel's anti-glare finish made text easily readable. The sound from the IdeaPad S540's two down-firing speakers is loud but could do with more clarity. Even with the pre-installed Dolby Audio app enabled for music, there's a noticeable amount of distortion while playing bass-heavy songs such as The Weeknd's Starboy. While highs and mids make it through in YouTube videos with vocals, lows fall flat completely. To sum it up, the pair is louder than the one on the cheaper IdeaPad S340, but no clearer, sadly. The IdeaPad S540 has all the essential ports but could have offered more for its size. On the left side of its body, we see a round pin power port for charging, a full-size HDMI port, a USB-C 3.1 port, and a 3.5mm audio jack for headsets. On the right side, we see two USB-A 3.0 ports and an SD card reader slot. What you miss out on are LAN port and a Kensington security slot. Fortunately, there's a fingerprint scanner just below the keyboard which works swiftly in combination with Windows Hello for screen unlocks and app authentication. Like the iPad S340 and many of the modern ThinkPad models, the iPad S540 is equipped with a physical sliding shutter for the webcam. This eliminates the user's need to stick a tiny piece of solid tape across the webcam in their quest for total privacy. What about the keyboard? Well, the keyboard on the IdeaPad S540 is perhaps more uncomfortable than the unit on the cheaper IdeaPad S340, and that's bad news for users who type a lot. The convex keys, which get two-stage backlighting, lack travel and feedback, 
As a result, you end up mistyping quite a bit. What's more, the positional shift caused by the inclusion of a numpad makes for an awkward typing experience overall. On the plus side, you get dedicated keys for media playback, but that's something you also find on the cheaper IdeaPad S145 as well. In summary, the IdeaPad S540's keyboard is something of a disappointment, really. The IdeaPad S540's touchpad, however, is much better than the keyboard. Being a proper precision unit, the touchpad accepts multi-finger taps and swipes. All the settings can be changed from Windows settings without installing a third-party driver or utility. The matte surface of the touchpad is smooth and fairly easy to press. All in all, the touchpad on the IdeaPad S540 is great for everyday tasks such as browsing and image cropping. Let's check out the build. Because it's the top of the line model, the IdeaPad S540 enjoys an all metal construction. The top cover and base panel are made of aluminium with diamond cutting around the edges. And this lends the laptop a clean premium look. Thanks to the matte finish on both sides, the laptop is fairly grippy to hold. The IdeaPad S540 is 16.95 mm slim, but weighs 1.95 kilograms. In other words, it's a slim laptop, but nowhere close to lightweight. If you're looking for something compact and light, this just isn't it. The inside of the IdeaPad S540 looks just as clean as the outside. Opening the lid reveals a 15.6 inch matte screen with fairly slim bezels on three sides. The lid goes all the way back to 180 degrees, which is good news for anyone working from their bed. All things considered, the IdeaPad S540 is a well-engineered device. The only problem with it is that despite its best efforts, it ends up weighing almost as much as any other 15-inch out there with discrete graphics like the HP 15. Well then, the IdeaPad S540 is a bit of a confused device. It doesn't know whether it wants to be a thin and light model or something that's made for performance and gaming and things like that. Despite that, it's not a bad laptop at all. You really can't go wrong with it. Go ahead and get it if the price suits you. We'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.